everybody. Um, my name is Shalika Lassiter, and I am the head coordinator for the 2020 Black Excellence Awards this year. Um, it's also known as the BEAs. So with this award show, um, we want to recognize the Black excellence in the creative community um, or business community as far as at the UAB, on UAB, UAB's campus. Um, so we usually recognize past, present, and this year we want to recognize future. So this entitles a high school in um, Birmingham, Alabama that is putting, it, putting in the work as far as making contributions to the Black community. And with Gardendale High School, um, they have a great, creative, very interactive Black history program that they do. And I have Deandra Davis with me, the coordinator for their program. And I would like to introduce you to her. And if you could give us some of your background. Um, I'm Deandra Davis. I attended Gardendale High School and now I'm at Lawson State Community College and I'm majoring in nursing. Okay, so can you tell me how the um, Black student program came about, Black History program came about at Gardendale? Um, really, it came from my sister about, let me see, three years ago. Um, she kept asking and asking my principal to um, have a Black History program, and he kept saying no until um, our principal, Ms. Blankenship, came, and she allowed us to have a Black History program. So my sister was able to do um, the Black History program her sophomore, no, her junior and senior year, mm -hmm. and then she passed it on to this other girl named Elissa, and then Elissa passed it on to me my senior year. And so it's just been um, consistent ever since then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, passing that torch. Well, that's pretty yeah. awesome that your sister started that and you were able to continue that legacy there. Um, so can you tell me about your high school experience at Garndale? Um, I mean, I enjoyed going to Garndale. They had their favorites, especially when it came to like dress code and stuff. But other than that, I mean, it was a good experience. Um, yeah, it was like any other high school experience. You know, you have your favorites and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Well, why do you feel that the Black History Program um, is important to bring to this community? Well, Gardendale, ever since they wanted to do their own school system a lot of people found that as being racist because that was going to affect the black student body and also other races so having the black history program in that community showed them that we're still going to promote excel black excellence even though y'all are trying to get rid of us mm -hmm. it was saying that yeah you're trying to get rid of us but we're still going to celebrate black people and no matter what, that's what we're gonna do, no matter what they say. Well, um, what would you say were some of the highlights of putting the program together? Um, I would say the fact that we didn't have that many people, but we made the best that we could do. Mm -hmm. And all the smiles, all the laughter, um, all the positive vibes. And then it's the fact that I was able to do something not really by myself, but it's the fact that I was able to get out of my shell because I'm kind of an extrovert. So the fact that I was able to do the Black History program and get out of my comfort zone, yeah, that was that was crazy because I didn't think I could do something like that really. Well, that's pretty awesome. Well, introvert, yeah. Yeah, well, I say I can definitely agree there. And being the head <laughs> coordinator for this event, it's been like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Yeah. Um, so. How do you feel um, you being the head coordinator for a Black History program? How do you feel that will assist with your college experience? Um, I don't know because like right now, I feel like it hasn't really did anything yet because I just touched the surface. I haven't dug deep enough yet. Mm -hmm. So it has like assisted me some but I still feel like I need to dig deeper into my mm -hmm. roots and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, what yeah. about like getting more involved in campus, on campus and yes. maybe starting some type of program there? I'm still getting out of my shell, so maybe <laughs> not quite yet, yeah. but I see me doing something eventually. 
Okay. Like, I'm not totally opposed to it, but, yeah. Well, I want to thank you so much for <laughs> um, getting on here and doing a virtual interview, you know, with everything going on. It's so hectic. Um, My pleasure. We really appreciate you and what you're doing and how you're influencing other students and making that impact in the Black community. Very awesome. I just want to thank you so thank much. Thank you. Um, <laughs> And everybody, we want to say thank you for tuning in and please continue watching um, 2020 BES. Bye.